So the first question is, what should a camera for education look like? Uh, this is my first sketch. You can see it's a very informal sketch. Um, I felt very strongly that it should be a device that has features that on one side inspire creativity, but on another side expose the user to a wide range of science and engineering concepts. And so let me just share with you some of these features. So here is the first concept. You have the, the camera has a battery, a rechargeable battery, but the idea here is that let's say you're out on a shoot and you happen to run out of charge, then you would simply crank up a power generator and generate enough power to be able to take a few shots. And this is clearly not an essential component of a camera, but the reason we have it is so that we can talk about the mechanics of a gearbox, electromagnetic induction and how a dynamo or a motor works, and also expose the user for, to cam battery technology. And here is the optics of the camera. It's not a single lens, but rather something akin to the Swiss Army knife. It has a lens wheel with different modules on it. So the first module allows you to capture a regular photograph. The second module allows you to capture a panoramic view. And the third one actually captures an anaglyph where you can put on 3D glasses and see what you've shot in 3D. And finally, uh, the camera I felt very strongly must come as a kit. I don't need to preach this to this community right here. It's a, it's a pretty compelling argument to the Maker Fair um, audience. And the feeling here is that we really live in an age of software. And, and I'm not opposed to that because I actually work in a computer science department. But on the other hand, I do believe that the next generation um, must be exposed to the concepts that lie uh, that, that have to do with the stuff that software sits on top of, to be able to think about it, to be able to design it. We are very comfortable with these very sleek devices these days, but you take them for granted. And so that was certainly one of the motivations here.